Uh, my name is Jarrell Presley. I'm from Newcastle, Delaware. Um, at University of New Mexico, I play football. I graduate uh, December 11th and uh, a bachelor's of sociology and a minor of American studies. Around the whole stadium. And there you go. Back in Delaware, I came back in my ninth grade year. I went to uh, Hudsonville Technical High School where I was a freshman. I played freshman football, JV, and uh, I did okay there. I was doing good. Then I ended up transferring my sophomore year to Red Lion Christian Academy. And I think when I transferred there, that's when I started to realize I was good in football and I can do something about it. So. Me transferring to Red Lion Christian Academy, I had to take a test to get into a Red Lion Christian Academy because it's a private school and Hudson Boat Tech is a public school. Took a test and I did bad, tremendously bad. And uh, I'll never forget this lady, her name was Dawn Bell. And she had told my football coach who tried to get me in a Red Lion that I would never make it at Red Lion. Test scores, would never make him. Hit. I don't think he had graduated from Red Line. Long story short, I ended up graduating from Red Line with a 3.2 and uh, ended up getting a scholarship from Red Line. Uh, got the scholarship to the University of New Mexico to play football. But as I'm in Red Line, it's a lot of struggles in Red Line that I have faced. First, I had played football and basketball and baseball at Red Line. And uh, my sophomore year, we did good. We did, we won a couple games and then I hit a, a hole, I hit a wall. And when I hit that wall, it got me bad because I ended up getting in trouble at Red Line for, uh, I told a girl to change my grade in school and she changed my grade because she was a teacher's aide. And when she changed my grade, I got in trouble and I got suspended, almost expelled. And that would change my life because me getting suspended or expelled from a school, I didn't know what I'm going to do. Football, all I knew, I was losing football, I was losing everything. Somehow, some way, from the God grace, I got a second chance. And my second chance, I cleaned up and I just kept going. Like, I see it through everything. Like, I just, I just couldn't give up after that. So, my junior year come around, um, doing everything right, doing everything right in football, but I'm still having no scholarship. So I'm looking at myself, saying if I'm good enough. And right about then, I'm thinking I'm not good enough to play football anywhere. So I'm down on myself. I'm not thinking I'm going to make it in college. I didn't even think I was going to go to college if I didn't get a scholarship. Matter of fact, I, I probably wouldn't have went to college if I didn't get a scholarship. But and me, I always going to see it through. It's always some way. I still didn't get a scholarship, and nobody really liked me my sophomore, I mean, my junior year. Then I went to my junior, my senior year, summer year, my senior year. I went to a bunch of combine, everything, testing well, doing good in football, uh, doing good. I mean, I'm just not getting any looks. And then towards the middle of my senior year, I started getting a lot more looks. So, like, people start coming in and everything, like big schools coming in. And then in 2011, I think that was the worst year for college football. Everybody was getting fired. So when I was on a board with people, the coaches were getting fired. So me as a, being a recruit, I would not be there with them no more. So I would lose all my scholarship. So I was back to square one again, and they had nothing. And I'm about to graduate don't have nothing so I'm not I end up graduating from Red Lion 2011 with one offer and I wasn't planning on going to college until like a gray shirt and that is coming in half of a after half of a semester so New Mexico gave a shot on me 
told me they want me to gray shirt. And I was fine with that. I stay home for a semester and come in the spring for New Mexico in 2012. But God is good some way. I got a call in August of 2011 and said, we need you to come to New Mexico. Came to New Mexico. I red shirted my uh, true freshman year. Our coach at the time was Michael Loxley, and he got fired the third game of the season. So I, I mean, crushed me then. Another setback. Um, the head coach who gave me the shot, he got fired. And now I'm out in New Mexico. I'm from Delaware. I'm like, I don't know anything out here. So I had the option of leaving, staying, or doing whatever I really wanted. But I ended up staying there. New coaching staff came in with Bob Dave and his crew. So my true, not my true, my redshirt freshman year. Had a good season. We ended up going four and nine. Coming off of a losing season, which was like well, when Locks was here, it was one in I mean three and thirty-three. So winning four games was a plus. Did good. My sophomore year I really I got the back shoulder and I really didn't play. Yeah. And I was kind of mad and upset that I didn't play. I really showed it, showed my true colors because I hated the coaches for that. And, I, and once I did that, I didn't, I didn't do anything good. Like, I had a negative behavior. I didn't care about school. I didn't do anything. Then when I went home for that, I think it was 2013, I'm, I'm not too sure, 2013, 2012, Around Christmas, my uh, head coach for high school, he humbled me and, and told me, I need to change or they're going to change you. Never put your life in somebody else's hand where they call the shot. Always put your life in your hands where you make your decision. So going in my junior year, I made a, a big change around. And... First thing first, what made me change around was I uh, ended up finding out I had a blood clot in the spring of my uh, sophomore year. So that that's another setback I had. I had a blood clot. They ended up telling me I probably will not play football again. Uh, I had that surgery, get my uh, vein taken out because it damaged the blood clot damaged my vein so much. So I had a minor, not a minor setback. This was a big setback because. Going into my junior year, that's the year you need to be most explosive. And I didn't think I was going to be explosive at all. One, I'm scared to get hit because if I get hit, I might bleed internally. And it was just a big thing for me. I mean, that broke me down mentally bad. Uh, I was in the hospital about three days. And those three days were probably the worst three days I had ever. I never felt that low and bad. Just thought my whole life was done because all I knew was football and it was taken away from me. I worked hard. I humbled myself really good. My coach humbled me. My mom and my uh, uh, brothers and sister humbled me. And then my junior year was the year of my best year at University of New Mexico. I ended up breaking records, doing things people never seen before. I ended up having a, my best year ever at University of New Mexico, my junior year. I rushed for 1,083 yards with 114 carries with an average of 9.5 a carry, what led the nation. And I had 12 touchdowns. So I ended up being again a lot of recognition for that, doing good, because I always kept seeing it through. Like, I know, like, this is not yet to come. My senior year come around, I still, we got a good opportunity now to make it to a bowl game. So it's like, I always have this little setback and I just keep it, like, I always keep seeing it through. That's one of my favorite poems. I'm in a fraternity, Omega Psi Phi. My favorite poem is uh, See It Through. My favorite line in that poem is, run it from you will not save you, see it through. If I to turn my back on this blood club, turn my back on my coaches, and not get humble, I don't think I'll be here right now. So every time I get a, a little problem or something, I got to plant my feet and take it head on. Because when you take it head on, 
you're not running from your fears. And when you're not running from your fear, something good is going to happen. You're going to overcome your fear, and you're going to be good about yourself and be able to become a better person. So all I can say now is, man, I'm in a good situation right now. I'm trying my best, my best to reach other people. And just show them, like, never give up because it's always something better if you see it through.